Hello, Gamer Nome is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob with the flame fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Every purchase you make, 5% will go to me, and this will really help me make better videos for each and every one of us. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, that's your slam, that's the dump. Okay, so we're gonna start this video by asking you a question. Is Fire Bullets the strongest first kill in Black Fruits? Comment it in the comment section. Check this out. A level 1 Flame Fruit user can almost one hit a bandit. Comparing it to the Rumble, the damage is far. Even the Doe Fruit guys cannot do that damage. It even has a higher initial damage compared to the Venom Fruit. After one quest, you will reach level 5 and you can start one hitting bandits. Also, remember that this is an elemental fruit which makes it really, really good. Okay, so at level 10, next area, the Fountain City. So here, we're gonna lure the Gali Parrots. No damage, guys, as long as you're in front of the wall. And that's an easy grind. Use your left clicks and your Z skill to defeat the enemy. With just one Gali Parrot, you will unlock the F skill, the Fire Flight, and the Fire Beam. You're going to continue grinding here until you reach level 55. But guys, if you want, you can stay here until level 60. For the stats, melee 30, defense 10, blocks fruits 1, 2, 5. Next area is the pirate village. We're gonna skip the first two mobs and go straight with Bobby. By the way, we've unlocked the fire column. This is the skill. Combining it with the Z and the X skill, everything will be fast. Guys, we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 75. And after that, next island is the desert. So here, our target is the desert officers. Check the Z skill guys, you only need 2 Z skills to defeat an enemy but you can also use your Z skill etc. Don't worry there is no damage because again flame fruit is an elemental fruit. We're gonna leave this area when we reach level 90 for the stats, melee 35, defense 35, plus fruits 200. Next up the frozen village. Go straight to the cave and don't forget to buy the sky jump, flash step and enhancement. Go straight to the snow bandits, our target. So just one Z and C skill. And one more Z skill is enough to defeat them. Guys, you can also use your X skill if you want. Our target level is 105. Why? Because at that level, we can start defeating the Yeti. So guys, we're gonna server hop here until you reach level 120. Okay, so guys, only 15 levels for the stats. Melee 50, defense 50, block to 60. Next area, oh guys, beware of the bullies. So this awakened Buddha fruit and he even tried to attack me. I think that's a dragon breath skill, Z skill. Okay, so there are lots of players here. Just focus on grinding. Next up, the main fortress. Target is the chief petty officers. Don't worry, elemental is in effect. So guys, just focus on hitting them and hitting them. Also, our target here is just 10 levels. Okay, so after that, everything will be faster. So again, at level 130, next up the Vice Admiral. So here's my technique. So lure him here, there you go, and that's it. Use your Z and C skill. Avoid using your X skill because it will push your enemy away and he will attack you. Okay? So just keep on grinding here. Again, do server hop until you reach level 220. Guys, you will unlock your V skill while grinding this area, the fire bomb. This is the last skill, but don't worry, we will awaken every skill later so watch out for that so again at 220 next area is the prison so we have three targets here first is the warden guys same strategy with each and every boss lure him inside that area and use all your skills guys that's very easy right i usually call it the wall strat so guys again same with the chief warden warden chief warden you will lure him here and defeat it. So at 240 guys, the swan, the difference is you will just create more distance because if you don't do that, he can attack you with his string, that one, okay? So again, increase the distance and no damage will be dealt to you, okay? Target level, 350. For the stats, nearly 200, defense 200, blocks for 650. Next up, the magma village. Shout out to Ace. Ace, this one's for you. We're gonna start defeating. The Magma Admiral, so technique here, use your skills. Again, guys, use your skills and after that, dodge. Okay, that's it. Use your skills, dodge. Use your skills and dodge. Okay, so same strategy. We're gonna server hop here until you reach level 425. And after that, next up, the Underwater City. So here, same, we're gonna defeat a boss, Fishman Lord. So technique, lure him and use the wall strut again. So guys, there will be no problems here. All you need to do is watch out for bullies. Again, don't forget to do server hop. Guys, our target level here is level 500. Checking our stats, melee 300, defense 300, blast fruits 900. Next area is the Skylands. And we're gonna go straight 
to the whisper. So here the technique, lure the whisper, C scale, and jump on the rock, and that's it. Cannot hit you here, I'm gonna show it to you. His bazooka is useless. Just use your skills, wait for it to cool down, and repeat, and that's it. So gamer no what is our target level here? Target level is 637. Next up, the Fountain City. Check that out, guys. We are back to the Galley Pirates. Galley Pirates don't have hockey. So again, they cannot hit us. So just one C, Z, and X skill, and that's enough. Guys, listen. We're gonna skip the first three mobs in the second C. Guys, if you want the fastest way, the most efficient way, follow this strategy. So we're gonna leave this area at 793. Make sure to do the prison quest. Here are the stats, and now guys, you are ready to go to the second C. Again guys, 793 is our target level before we go to the second C. So guys, in the second C, first quest, the Swan Pirates. Why Gamer Nom? At this level, we've already achieved elemental effect, so there you go, no damage. And guys, check this out. 1Z and V skill is enough to defeat these mobs. So again, we're gonna skip three mobs. <laughs> That's a lot Gamer Nom, don't worry guys, this is the fastest way. So we're gonna grind here until you reach level 925. Stat check, 415 melee defense, plus fruits 1945. Next area is the green zone. So here, we're gonna start defeating the boss, Fajita or Fujitora. You guys, don't worry. We're just gonna level up 52 times here. Guys, do server hop, and we're good, okay? So I noticed that our damage is kinda lower now. So I decided to go back to the first C. There you go. Head to the Skylands and buy an item. And that item is a Tomo Ring. This increases the damage of your Blast Fruits. So guys, back to the second C, our target, the Zombies in the Graveyard Island. So why Gamer Nom? Because again, Elementals in effect. And you only need two skills to defeat them, even without the Tomo Ring. But guys, if you add it, more damage, right? Target level, 1028. Next up, the Snow Mountains. Same strategy with the Snow Troopers. They have no hockey, which means two skills delete okay okay so keep grinding here until you reach level 1150 and after that next island is the hot and cold so the only target here is the mini boss or the boss in this island smoker or smoke admiral guys check this out 1z skill right and after that 1x skill and 1v skill check the damage almost half so guys just two sets of Z, X, and C skill plus V skill is enough to defeat this boss. You guys, the boss here is easy. So make sure to take advantage and grind here until you reach level 1289. Next area is the cursed ship near the Great Red Island. First target is a ship deck hands. Don't worry, elemental is in effect. Two skills, and that's enough. No more tips, guys. Just be patient. Okay, one more mob here is our target. When you reach level 1342, that mob is the ship's steward. So starting here guys, I noticed that our damage is not enough to defeat enemies with just two skills. So guys, you need to add the C skill to defeat them. Goal here is 1394, checking our stats, melee 710, defense 1272, and blast fruits 2200. Next island is the ice castle. For the target, arctic warriors, so again elemental effect, but again you need to use three skills. So guys. Is that hard? I guess no. Just one button is added to grind. Our goal here is 1473. Next up, the Forgotten Island. So guys, the target is Sea Soldiers. So while grinding in this area, guys, this is the last mob, okay? I decided to awaken all the skills. So guys, I head to the hot and cold and ask my friend Joy Boy to help me awaken every skill. So there you go. Again, shout out to Joy Boy. Guys, we were able to awaken all the skills thanks to him. And one more good thing, guys, there are fragments left. So I decided to talk to Morp in Change Race and we got the mink. Okay, so back to grinding, guys. I decided to not change the fire bullets because still it is really strong compared to the Awaken Z skill or the other four skills. Here is the C skill, the Flaming Vortex. Next up is the Flame Destroyer V skill. Okay, so next we're gonna use the Prominence Burst. Also, if you notice, there is a burn effect every after skill. There you go, as you can see, the fire will still cause damage. So guys, target level here is 1,552. I forgot to show you the rocket flight. Here it is. It's a little bit faster compared to the previous one. Don't forget to do the Colosseum quest. And after that, head to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain. And guys, finally, 
third C, for our first target, the Pirate Millionaires, you don't need to worry. Again, at this level, 1,552, Elemental is in effect, and you only need one combo, Z. C skill and V skill is enough to defeat them. So there you go, guys. Only one combo, two sets to finish a quest. So Gamer Nom, what is our target level, guys? Again, we're gonna skip lots and lots of quests, but guys, trust me, this is the fastest one. So we're gonna leave here at 1675. Here are the stats, melee 725, defense 2000, black fruits max. So next area is the Hydra Island, and we're gonna go straight in the town and start defeating the Island Empress. So for the technique guys, wall strat, remember our strategy with the Fishman Lord in the underwater city, same strategy guys. So lure her, there's a wall, use your skills to defeat her, okay? So guys, if you think you're really that strong, you can lure her outside and start defeating her, that's what I did. Okay, so that's our focus, our only target in this island. So our target level here is to reach level 1750. Okay, so after that, next island is the Great Tree. Our target here is the boss, the Kilo Admiral. So guys, the technique. Use your skills, right? After that, use your rocket flight to fly here in this area and he cannot hit you here. He only has ground attacks. So there you go, when you're in cooldown, attack him with your skills. And after that, go back here and that's it. So repeat, attack, okay, cool down, hide here in this area, and use your skills. So Gamer Nom, starting from the Island Empress to the Kilo Admiral, we're gonna do server hop. Yes, guys, you're gonna do the server hop, and you're gonna leave this area at 1,800. So for the next area, guys, the Floating Turtle. So our only target in this island is the Fishman Captains. Again, guys, this is an only target. Wait, why Gamer Nom? Because number one, it's easy to defeat. So as you can see, just one combo, and that's it. Number two, it's near the quest giver, which will make our grinding really efficient. Number three, it's easy to lure. Guys, comparing it to every other mob here, this is the fastest one even though it gives less experience. So guys, make sure to grind here. Our target level is 2055. For the stats, max defense in Blood Fruits, that's the important thing. <laughs> Next island is a Haunted Castle. So only target is the Reborn Skeletons. Why? Because again, Elemental is in effect and they're so easy to defeat. Gamer Nom, how about the other mobs there, guys? They're hard to defeat. They have uh, fruits of their own. And also, some of them have hockey. So, guys, I suggest just grind here until you reach level 2161. Okay, that's kind of far, but guys, that's the fastest way. Next up, the Sea of Treats. The only mob that we're gonna defeat is this one, the Peanut Scouts. Why? Because they're near the quest giver. They're easy to lure. And, guys, using all your skills, the Z, the V, the C skill and the X skill, you can defeat them, okay? Which means one combo is enough to defeat them. Okay, how about the other mobs? The Cookie Crafter gets stuck a lot. And for the other mobs, they have Haki and they're hard to defeat, okay? So that's it, guys. Max levels achieved. If you have comments or suggestions, we still have one more video before the update comes out. So make sure to suggest or recommend the fruit. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gamer Nom out.